So reading CSV or comma separated files is very common in science and engineering. And so in this case, you can see a CO2 sensor that has tabulated data. And it normally reads out like this, showing me the CO2 value in the room. And if I blow on it, that value goes up. It also reads out temperature and relative humidity. And its data is available over my USB port in that no name folder that you see on the desktop right there. So let's start up a project that can take data from that source or an online source like this one and process it so that we can do something useful with that information. So this information comes from a water measurement uh, station in Attawapiskat in Ontario. It's located right here on a river and it provides information on uh, flow or discharge through the river as well as the depth of the river. And that's available on the internet just as a CSV file. So we'll start up a project in IntelliJ and we'll create a class in the source folder. So I'll just name the class like this. I'll paste in the file that I created earlier for this that includes a main method. So I've pasted it in and immediately you'll see that the class name needs to be changed. And on line three, the CSV reader library isn't available. I have to import it. Okay, this is what I need to use inside of my program, but I need to import it. So com.opencsv.opencsv colon 3.8, that's 3.8 version of this particular library. So I go into Maven through the libraries menu and I type that in or I paste that in. That's the library I'm trying to, to get. So I do the search, click on it. Okay, okay, okay. make my way back in after knowing that it's imported into the project and you can see that when I open the package or import the package it's no longer read. Okay so let's get uh, looking through this file right here. So the original file is located on a government website and you can see right here this is the contents of the CSV file and it's named on underscore 04 FB 001 underscore daily underscore hydrometric dot CSV. So each station has its own ID, that 04 business. And I've downloaded the file and I'm looking at it in a text editor. And you can see that right here. But for the purpose of this exercise, I've modified the file so it's simpler to read. There's no header and uh, and and things that would be difficult to read that aren't numeric values like 29.209 or 264, um, things like that that aren't that have been removed. So dates and letters, things like that have been removed. So I'm just going to bring things in assuming they're all double precision floating point numbers. And I've stored it in a file that you can see right here. And I have to copy this file, not drag it, I have to copy it into my project and I put it in the main folder of my project, not in the source folder, in the main project folder. I paste it like that. I confirm that that's where it's going to get pasted and the name of it. And there it is. It's now inside of IntelliJ and it's accessible when I compile and when, more importantly, when I run the program. I could also have created a file like I just did right there and placed it in that same folder, the same principal or main folder, and typed in my data using numbers and commas to separate out the numbers. That would be an alternative way to do it. All right, so let's get back into the class definition. And you can see I'm using try catch blocks right there on line nine, you can see that. I need to copy the file name and place it in the string value 
for file name right here. And it gets used on line 18 when I read the file using the file reader object. All right, so let's compile it and then run it. And there you go. So it's printing out values from the file. And then I've got a calculation of average. And I'm just going to compare it to what's in the actual spreadsheet. So I can open it up in Excel. It's always a good way to verify that you did the right job inside of your program. So I'm going to run it in Excel as well, just to, to make sure that I got the average right. And there you go, it worked. Oh, but I did forget to change the name of the water monitoring station. It's that. There you go. So I've got the right name of the water monitoring station, got the right average, we're good. Mm -hmm.